Hello, my name's Steve Smith and I'm an Automotive Application Specialist here at Pico and we're here to look at the new 4425A scope from Pico. Here's the existing or the outgoing 4425 scope. Um, you'll know instantly that there's a difference in the front panel, but we'll come to that in a moment. Specification wise though, they are identical. So 400 million samples a second, 250 million sample memory, 20 megahertz scope and 12 bit resolution. Now, in terms of the front panel, that's a real game changer. The front panel of the 4425A scope still utilizes industry standard BNC connections. You'll also see now we have six additional pins and we'll discuss those a little bit later. But let's just go through with the LEDs. At the top left hand corner of each channel, the channel color now is represented by the relevant LED. So channel A blue, of course, red B, green C, and yellow D. The new 4425A still retains BNC industry standard connections for test leads, which is great because it still means your existing probes, your current clamps, your test leads, whatever they may be, can still connect to the new 4425A. So your previous accessories, they are not redundant in any way, still connect. So here we have examples of uh, a conventional times one test lead, still utilizes BNC, so existing ones at the moment, and now BNC plus with the additional six pins. Nothing changes in terms of how the signal enters the scope via these test leads. So new and old will still fit the new 4425A, but we need to discuss now the addition of these six pins and what BNC plus actually means for the technician. Here we have a BNC plus times one blue test lead, still utilizes the conventional BNC for the signal, but now with the additional six pins when we connect, which is a clip connection, you'll notice that the blue shell of the BNC plus lead is indicated with a blue LED all around the input. So what are the advantages then of BNC plus? Well, it reduces time, it saves setup errors. We don't have to worry anymore now about setting up the probe menu. We push fit BNC plus onto the scope. The scope recognizes the probe that's connected, amends the software, so it sets the software probe, in this case, to times one and channel A. Zero offset is taken care of and you're ready to go. Moving on with BNC plus, we extend that now to current clamps. Here's the new 2000 amp clamp from Pico. Uh, the shell of this clamp is blue and red, so when we connect BNC+, Plus, notice how the shell indicates blue for the top half, red for the bottom. Here's the real win, is that now there's power down to the clamp via the scope. So now we've got no issues with uh, batteries going flat within the current clamp, so for those prolonged measurements, no concern there. Setup is easy, the software recognises it's a 2000 amp clamp connected and sets the probe accordingly. Um, the zero offset, that's taken care of as well on connection, so no zero to worry about. So again, ease of use, it's a real win. So BNC plus accessories, here we have the times 10 attenuated lead, that's high impedance as well. So CAN networks, flex ray, etc. Uh, you'll notice now blue shell, yellow shell, and the LED has responded accordingly. And the software, has recognized that there's a times 10 lead connected. Another new feature for BNC Plus is the resistance lead. So now we can actually graph resistance. So again, BNC Plus, it's a push connection. The software recognizes that the test lead is connected, the resistance lead. We can select the range that we want and I've joined these leads together so as we can actually see that we've got a closed circuit and that the red waveform here or the red signal is indicating zero ohms. An additional new accessory BNC plus is the temperature probe. So now again push connection LEDs respond with green upper sorry yellow upper green lower the opposite of the resistance lead. Software recognizes it's a temperature probe connected. Uh, range there minus 50 to 150 degrees 
Another accessory we're all familiar with is the coil unplug probe. So no different other than it has BNC plus, so it's got auto probe recognition and set the scale range accordingly. You'll notice again, LEDs, they've all responded to whatever shell color we have for the relevant probe. And it's selected millivolt scale because uh, we're not reading KV directly, we'll be looking at the uh, low voltage interpretation of the field around the coil. In addition to the BNC plus, accessories we've already seen. We've got the new 60 amp low current clamp. So wide jaw, BNC plus. When we connect, LEDs respond to the BNC shell. So that's blue at the top, yellow at the bottom. Software responds. We don't have to worry about zero. We don't have to now worry about power supply down to this clamp as well. It's all taken care of through BNC plus through those additional six pins. And finally, ignition pickup. So HD pickup, again, BNC plus connection, push fit. Software recognizes the HT pickup has been connected. LEDs respond to BNC plus shell colors. And software is selected minus 500 kV. So it is simplicity, it is push fit. Software sets the probe for you, zero offset taken care of. If the probe requires power, then that's dealt with via the software and the scope itself. Picascope 6 automotive software functions as it did previously with the 4425, no difference at all. We're demonstrating here connect detect, so we've got two BNC plus cables times one test leads connected here. Connect detect function is operational. I'm just gonna disconnect the link between the signal wire and the ground wire and channel B, and you can see that B is updated there. Um, compatibility with other files, so um, any mix and match of files, let's say you've saved uh, PS data files from two, three years ago with your previous scope, you've then purchased the new 4425A, you can open those in PicoScope 6. Uh, they are completely compatible. Uh, custom probes as well, nothing is uh, uh, sacrificed there, so if you've made custom probes for pressure or temperature, whatever it may be, still loaded into the software as normal. Um, there is no trade-off. This will replace your existing scope, carry on using your existing accessories with the current software. The rear panel of the 4425A does have a slight difference in that, yes, USB 3, but also now the opportunity to add external power supply. So that's a five volt, two amp power supply. And that's for future accessories because as we develop the 4425A and additional new BNC plus probes, they may require additional power. So it's future proofing really, but for the existing probes, the BNC plus probes that you've seen today, no requirement for additional external power. The advantages of the 4425A, it has to be BNC plus. So think of a current clamp, push the current clamp onto the front of the scope. Software recognizes you've connected the clamp and selects the current, amps as the units, ensures the clamp is at zero, and then powers the clamp as well. So we don't have to worry about internal battery within the clamp for those prolonged measurements. Ease of use. BNC Plus, it improves connection speed operation time, push fit connections, zero offset, power supply. It's all taken care of through BNC Plus. It reduces the risk of uh, incorrect settings. BNC Plus has future proofed the scope even further. We've already seen what BNC Plus has done for the existing accessories that we use the current clamp, the Times One test lead. But what about the additional accessories that we've now got? We've now got resistance lead, temperature lead, and where we can go from there, how we can improve accessories that haven't benefited at this point in time from BNC Plus, and additional future accessories that we're working on right now. 4425A, become comfortable and confident using the scope first time out of the box.